going on guys? It's Connected Vape here again with Gold Country Vapor and uh, today we're going to be talking about the Cryptex RDA by JPGE. Uh, it's the same company that made the Nimbus RDA uh, a while back and uh, this is their newer RDA that they've made and it's it's pretty nice. Pretty nice design. It's uh, not you know complicated or nothing. It's three post design. It's got an airflow control ring. Uh, it's, it's pretty nice. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, they did a good job. This is, I'm digging this RDA because it holds a lot of juice. It doesn't have like a juice well, but the design of it, which you'll see when I break it down and get uh, into the close up, but it'll hold like an entire dropper uh, from a 30 mil bottle. Like, no problem. So, uh, definitely digging it. So, if you don't really like dripping like constantly, this might be the RDA for you. But uh, let's go ahead and vape on it, and then we'll drop down and we'll break it apart and take a close look at it. So this is the Cryptex RDA uh, up close. As you can see, it has the uh, logo on there, Cryptex. Uh, this RDA is made of 304 stainless steel. Uh, it's a three-piece design, so it's got the top cap and then the sleeve that comes off. And uh, it's a real simple design. It's just a regular three post with Phillip head screws. Uh, the top cap is domed, so it has like excellent flavor in it. And then it has a spit back guard as well. Uh, and then the heat sinks obviously to disperse heat so your drip tips don't get super hot which I haven't had a problem with so I would have to say that they they do their job for sure uh, like I said it's two tone so it's a polished top and then the sleeve is actually like a brushed brushed finish um, fires pretty well yeah, uh, I'm not going to tear it all down and rebuild it on this video, but uh, the posts are super tall. I mean, if you look and see where the airflow is on it, it's up really high. So the benefit of that is that when it's all put together, you have your coils up high and then you just drape down a bunch of cotton. That way, like I said, it'll hold... Uh, a 30 mil dropper or a dropper from a 30 mil bottle I should say full dropper no problem so I mean it's uh, quite nice to be able to just throw that much juice in there and not have to re-drip like every few hits I get a good probably 10 solid hits full pulls out of this at uh, I think this builds at a 0.29 so generous on the juice definitely Definitely. So that was a, a real quick up and close with the Cryptex RDA. Uh, pretty basic, pretty basic for sure. But um, I just wanted to let you get a closer look at it and just see it's a very clean machined RDA. We did really good work on it. And uh, you know, it's, it's kind of got the best of both worlds. It's got the airflow control, but for me, I like a real airy draw and it's just that point where I could probably use maybe a little bit more but uh, for the trade-off is the flavor is pretty fantastic and uh, which is surprising because it's kind of a taller RDA a little bit but uh, because of the dome I think that reduces the chamber just enough and with the funnel design you know it's flavor is really good so you kind of get the best of both worlds and uh, my favorite thing about it is is how deep the juice well technically the juice well is. Uh, on the deck it doesn't really have one but because of the design with the air holes up high like that uh, raised off the deck uh, it allows you to you know fill it with juice pretty much and uh, it puts out I mean so it's not lacking on vapor production by any means that's for sure and you know it's a good design 
I mean, it stays cool. Like my drip tips stay cool. They don't get super hot and I'm running a pretty low bill. It's 0.29, I think. So kind of low, not you know, super cloud chaser low or anything. But uh, for the fact that I don't have to drip like every couple minutes when I'm walking around or doing whatever, it's pretty nice. And uh, the trade off of having great flavor as well with the lack of uh, airflow, I'd say it's it's a winner for sure. And the price has dropped on them. Uh, I'll have a link in the description below where uh, you can get it uh, either online or you can come by the shop Full Country Vapor in Auburn. And uh, yeah, if you know, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I wasn't too sure at first. I'm not, you know. Not too big on the taller RDAs, but it's not too tall. That's that's it's just at that point where it's not too tall for me, anyways. So great flavor, super good, super good. But uh, yeah, I would definitely uh, advise to at least check them out, give them a look, and uh, they feel solid. I mean the it just it's a solid RDA definitely liking it definitely liking it uh, I have to give it a two thumbs up for sure on this RDA the Cryptex by JPGE and uh, if you've had a Nimbus before and you like the Nimbus definitely check it out because this is their newest you know they've been around for a little bit but uh, it's their newest RDA that they've put out and they definitely put some work into it. it's a lot more advanced than the Nimbus was for sure but uh, you know it's basic, so it's not a complicated build. You know, first-time RDA buyers uh, would be totally fine getting a Cryptex, and uh, I think they'd be pretty satisfied because uh, the flavor, the airflow, and the vapor production—it's—it's—it's it's, it's good. It's good. All right, guys, that's it for uh, this video on the Cryptex RDA by JPGE. Uh, stay tuned. Make sure and like and subscribe on this video. And uh, gonna be doing the next video I'm gonna be doing is gonna be on a build tutorial. So uh, stay tuned. I know a lot of people have been asking about it, so uh, I'm definitely gonna get to that. I've just been real busy. So until uh, next time, stay connected.